What's up my shuggies? Ashley here and in today's video I am going to do another vlog style video. I'm going to go to several places, of course, Home Goods, and then I'm gonna make a stop at At Home, Costco, and then show you a DIY that I have been working on. I just found some old vessels that I wanted to completely recreate so I can utilize them in my home as well as that project I have been working on. So if you're interested in doing this massive shop with me and haul of all things amazing, then just keep watching. <laughs> First, we're going to Costco and I got some really good stuff. I wanted to show you this is my vacuum. I absolutely love it. It's not on sale, but it is amazing. This candle, not my scent, but it is nice and cotton clean smelling. 14 bucks, great deal. These pans, super expensive, but nice. These pizza pans, amazing too for $19 these storage bins for fruit and look on the side they have a little vent that you can open that helps keep them fresh and i think that that's such a good deal this i want to use as decor even though it's for guac <music> good outdoor furniture amazing pieces planters you name it they have it i absolutely love this place they don't have things that go on sale a ton but they really do have some good gems if you search this is my actual cement bowl that i put my geodes in i love it they have a ton of outdoor cushions a ton of florals and then as you can see here this is the one i actually have in my filming room as well a ton of pottery you can use them any different way you want and specifically this one in particular which I absolutely am obsessed with tons of baskets and this one has a nice liner in it to put a tree in maybe for the outdoor area again ton especially because the spring and summer ton of outdoor stuff and the storage this is the same exact clear storage i got from my pantry they're about the same price as home goods super cute and tons of sizes and then everything wood you could ever imagine charcuterie boards regular boards trays bowls and a napkin holder absolutely love all of these the tones are so ashy and beautiful next tons of ceramic this is a salt and pepper holder more wood items again tons to choose from and then an entire section of black and gold. I love this little water pitcher with the cups. And then some artificial um, orchids. And tons of moss. This is a great place to get moss. This is some of the exact kinds that I used in my DIY. Here's a nice bar stool and tons of Sherpa. They have the really cute Sherpa ottoman that has little wood legs. And the price isn't bad, $69. Look at how cute those little legs are on it. I love that they have the matching chair too. That's the same exact one. I just had to feel it. So soft and comfy. And then pillows. If you're looking for that shortcut that I taught you, these are only $9 and I think five. This blanket I have upstairs, I love it. It's amazing, 24 bucks. There's a cart full of brand new goodies. And then more accessories. I have those boxes. I love them. I think this would be perfect for a front door or an outdoor. I love these wooden candle holders. And this I have on my bookshelf and I love it. Next up is Home Goods. 
you know, I love me some home goods. I'm the home goods queen. I love this stool. I think it's super cute. And check out that ottoman. OMG, it's just like the one at at home. Huge vessel and tons of decor accessories. I love how they're coming out with a ton of matte black stuff and books. Look at this matte black vessel and this petrified wood piece. So gorgeous. I love all of them. Very neutral. And this really nice decor. It looks like a book, but it's a box. And then some more petrified wood. Another decorative box. Again, if you're looking for something to put your remotes in. It's a little bit on the um, dramatic side. Here's a marble one. And look at this mirror. OMG, so beautiful. I think it was around $200. Super, super pretty. And this one's gold as well, just a different shape. Some outdoor bar stools. I have that white chair. I love it. Some Sarah Brooke, another Sarah Brooke. Oh my gosh, I love this. It's the huge rectangular one. If I had a space to put it, I totally would. And then this is another one with some gold accents, another one with some brown accents. They just have so much Sarah Brooke. I love this wood piece. I think that's super cool for outdoors. Planters, planters galore, tons of different planters and pillows are coming out with some really nice textured pillows, 29 bucks. It's not choppable, but it's really, really unique. Maybe like a hybrid one, indoor, outdoor. More Sarah Brooke. This one's brown, brown and more brown. And then the other one is got a little bit of like a pink salmon-y color. Tons of Sarah Brooke. And then I love their office section, guys. These acrylic computer holders, it's exactly what I use. Not this exact one, but the one that is above this. I use it to sit on my couch and edit videos. They're very affordable and super cute and aesthetically pleasing. You can also use them for a regular computer. More storage. This one is an all black and then some nice kitchenware, some nice um, bowls. There's a nice horse head, some more horses. I love all the horses. Super cute. And some more pottery. They have a ton of pottery right now, a ton of vessels, just ones you can DIY and ones you can pull off the shelf. Look at this beautiful geode. It's so unique. I love the color and it's 29 bucks. More vessels, just like the one that I DIY'd on my bookshelf upstairs. I painted it black and it is gorgeous. This book, got it for my project house. Love it. Just take off the saran wrap and you're good to go. More vessels and more books. All right, I wanted to show you how these DIY vessels turned out. You guys, this is just an example of how cool things and totally different things can look when you just shoot them with some spray paint. So as you saw in the footage, I use that paint for literally everything, all of my projects. And these have some nice texture from their previous um, color and this is what they look like now it's completely nice and matte and full of texture so I just threw them on the top of that Ikea shelf that I have and love the way that it turned out looks so nice and clean and chic and really ties in with the rest of the black and white items so that is just a little preview the other ones I'm going to use in my project house which I will be showing you in the future but just so you know if there's something that you love but you hate the color of just grab some spray paint before you donate it or get rid of it because you never know how cute it can turn out now, as far as I, what I got from at home, they have these super cute, smaller versions of what I got on um, Amazon for the one that goes completely over the sink. And these are just small handheld ones that you could use for like a single or a double serving of pasta or whatever the case may be. I love the gray and the white color. Um, I did wash them and it came in a pack of two. So I guess this is like a medium size one and then a smaller size one. So this is definitely for like a single serving. Super cute. And the best part is they are completely collapsible and they go inside of each other. So it takes up virtually no room. I love the fact that they're so slim. It takes up such a small amount of um, room in the shelf that I put them in. So I have these two plus the other one and I stand them vertically and 
we're good to go. I actually threw the other ones that I had out just because they were so um, cumbersome as far as room. And anyone that knows kitchen organization or is a mom or a wife, you know that room is so important, especially when it comes to the kitchen. So these were a good deal, two of them for 10 bucks. And now I will show you the other cute little thing that I got from at home. This little bad boy right here was $9.99 as well, and I loved it. It is like a rope um, basket, and I put it in the cupboard of the mudroom when you first walk in, so I have a place to put my sunglasses, keys, and wallet, and that way it is always in the same place because I cannot stand when you come in the house and you have nowhere to put your keys and your wallet, and everything is all over the kitchen counter, and then it looks just disheveled and... I don't know, that's the OCD in me for sure, but I love the fact that it's so small. I have not been able to find one this small, and it is, of course, a nice neutral color with a pop of black. So for 10 bucks, at home has really cute small accessories like this that you could use, you know, in a different way that you wouldn't normally use them. And this was in the, like, kitchen area section. I will see if I can find it and link it below for you guys. The tag does not give a ton of information, so I'll see if I can find it on the website and link it for you guys as well. And then last but certainly not least, my favorite new vessel of the entire year. From at home, you guys, this is so heavy. I cannot even explain this. It's got to be at least... 30 pounds it's so heavy but it's so beautiful and so distressed it looks like it is hundreds of years old it was a little bit more on the expensive side i think it was around 40 around 40 dollars maybe 43 or 44 dollars but very nice and high quality i put it on my coffee table as you can see here and i do want to get some sort of um greenery of some kind grass um some leaves something to go just to give it a little bit of height but as you can see i just wanted to set it here on the table and here's a little trick for you if you have a box this is my box that you saw my recent video of my project house that i'm working on i got a box for them and they were able to store their remotes inside and as you can see also have nail clippers because the husband always needs those but if your box that you get is not big enough to store um your coasters you can always put them inside of your vessel so this is a nice little way to store them if you don't have storage on the top of your coffee table and then of course um, i talked about these in my recent home goods haul and my coffee table books that are both from there as well as these 19 dollars chains so we have a cute little trifecta going on here we just need some height in this vessel but we will get there and of course this vessel as well as from um, at home so they have really really good vessels if you are looking for them um, always a ton to choose from a little bit on the expensive side but definitely nice quality and well worth it so I will link this one below for you guys they only had two in my store in specific um, so I would definitely check to see if you can do the um, purchase and then pick up in store option I think that is your best bet now for Costco I did go ahead and pick up those two pizza sheets they were super cheap I think both of these were $14 and I realized when I got home that this was a different sheet than this one so I did a little bit of research and found out that this is called a pizza pan and this is a pizza crisper sheet um, or crisping pan and so I decided to go ahead and try it out and you guys I don't think I've ever made a better homemade pizza than in this pan. It definitely helped the crust get crispier, and I pre-baked my crust um, that I get from Publix. I wanted to make sure I did my due diligence for you guys, and let me tell you, it was definitely well worth it. So this you can also use. It's a little bit heavier um, for a pizza pan, but I think it's just going to give you that regular pizza texture um, based on the research that I did. So these are by the brand Nordic Wear. They're made in the U.S. and they say to um, not wash them into the dishwasher just because you don't want any issues with rust. So I just give them a good hand wash and put them back in it's good to go. So I think for 14 bucks, that is a steal. Costco has the best, most random things you did not know that you needed, but I definitely am so glad I picked these up because I definitely think it's going to be something I will use forever. Just like my pizza stone, 
have that and I use it randomly all the time. I just leave it actually inside my second oven, which is where I leave these as well. So definitely run to your local Costco and get these because it's such a good deal and totally well worth it, especially if you love cooking pizza at home. Now I also picked up a couple of different um, packs of water, but in addition to that, I did get a package of their Kirkland organic chicken breast. I really love these because they are organic and I just think that the packaging is perfect. There's, um, how many breasts in each of these? I think there's two to three breasts in each packet and then it comes in a long packet and I just cut it up into their individual servings, pop it in the freezer and then when I know that I'm going to cook that day, I take it out, put it in the fridge, it thaws, I take it, wash it and prepare it and it really is amazing and I feel better that it is organic. Um, I really haven't, like I said, had any issues as far as like cooking it and feeling that it has a ton of fat on it or tastes different or any of that. So I've really been loving this. I think there was one, two, three, I think there's like five or six packages and it was around $20. So a really good value as well. It beats having to go to Publix every single day and spending $8 a pack on their organic chicken breast. So definitely good to stock up on um, and have for during the week. And like I said, a really, really good deal. They also had a really good deal on the Kerrygold butter. If you do not know about this, this is really, really good. Um, I love using this, especially for cooking. They had four of the eight ounce bars. So there are um, four bars in here. They're about, let's say this size and half of this box in width. So I thought this was a really good deal. I just stick it in the freezer and then whenever I run out in the fridge, I pop one out, put it in the fridge and I'm good to go. So I literally won't have to get better for probably the next six months to a year. So really, really good um, deal on this as well. I think this was, was around maybe seven or eight bucks. So very affordable as well. They do also have some buy one, get one freeze every now and again at Publix. But if you guys don't have Publix and you do have Costco, then definitely keep your eye out for this because... Kerrygold, it really is amazing. I love it. My brother introduced me to it and I have not been using anything since. Also made this with the pizza, so the bag was halfway open, but you guys, this is literally the best Caesar salad kit I have ever had in my entire life. And it's because of this right here, the zesty herb, like a uh, crazy packet that comes with it. it. makes all the difference in the world. It's so good, so flavorful. I absolutely love it. It is earthbound farm, organic. I have looked everywhere for this and only one Costco around me has it. There are two other Costcos and neither of them carry this. So if you happen to see this at yours, I promise you, you will not regret it. It's super cheap. I think it's around seven bucks and this is a good two servings um, for us and that's two servings in each, so four single servings, and that's seven bucks for four single servings. So really good deal for that as well. It does come with two different dressings, so if you wanna break it up and not use it all at one time, you totally can. And it comes with croutons, cheese, and that zesty packet, um, I'm telling you, out of this world. I also got a case of this there. I have never seen this anywhere else. I've gotten this in the can before and it's just okay but I swear that there was something to getting it in the bottle. It tastes so much better and so much more refreshing. This is the blood orange and black raspberry. It comes also with two other flavors, uh, one that's like a purple hue and one that's a lemony um, flavor. It comes with like, was on sale too, I think, I don't know, maybe 20 bottles um, for a I don't even remember how much it costs, but it was on sale and it is so good. I love the fact that they're resealable because they're in the plastic bottle. And if you guys haven't tried it, this is my favorite brand of um, sparkling water. Definitely try this brand. This flavor is my favorite, blood orange and black raspberry. Out of all of them, the other one's like a black cherry, the purple one, and then the yellow is like a lemon, which is similar to a Sprite, but this one's definitely my most favorite. So check your local Costco for these as well. All right, you guys, that is gonna wrap up this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, I will link everything that I can in the description box down below. Please comment if there is something specific that you want linked that you do not see if I happen to forget about it. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that post notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload new videos. And I will see you guys in my next one.
Bye.